नमस्ते वेलकम टू द गाइडेंस क्लासेस टेलीकास्टेड बाय द टी सेट फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ ग्रुप वन सर्विसेस इन दिस सिनेरियो वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट तेलंगाना इकोनॉमी विद द हेल्प ऑफ सोशियो इकोनॉमिक आउटलुक ऑफ तेलंगाना एज यू नो इट और तेलंगाना इज अ comparably uh, very good in the contribution of uh, the gdp and this is a uh, one of the best uh, state which contributes maximum income for the uh, national income and what are the different policies how they are implemented how they increase the income revenue and all these things we will discuss it in this scenario between 2016 and 17 and 2018 and 19 year the state had an average revenue surplus of 0.39% of gsdp as against an average revenue shortage of 0.12% of gsdp for india uh, okay income so this is a very very notable important thing here so in 2016 and 17 2018 and 19 the state had average revenue surplus of 0.39% of gsdp whereas uh, when you compare uh, the uh, gsdp for india it is there is a shortage of revenue 0.12% when the as national wise there is a shortage of gsdp is 0.12% but in telangana there is a surplus revenue of 0.39% of gsdp that's the achievement of, uh, of telangana the state's average debit to gsdp ratio is 21.1% against uh, uh, it is 27.3% of india uh, gs clear so for the average debit to gsdp ratio in for telangana is uh, 21.1% whereas uh, the national level its uh, percentage is 27.3 means is a uh, very less mean nearly 6% less in terms of the implications of the 15th uh, finance commission the share of telangana in the divisible pool of taxes has come down from 2.437% in 2015 to 20 to 2.133% in 2020 21 and it has however now now further come down to 2.102% to for 2021 and 22 uh, see here as for the uh, implications of the 15th uh, finance commission the share of telangana in the divisible pool of taxes has come down so oh, we are getting less uh, share into from 2015 to 2020 it is 2.437% of uh, share and to in 2020 21 the share reduced to uh, 2.133% now again it comes down to 2.102 percent for the financial year 2021 22 so the share uh, from the national government is given a less come down from uh, uh, from 2015 onwards this is estimated uh, to result in a loss of 14151 crores to the state when compared against to the share recommended by the 14th uh, finance commission so actually the uh, 14th finance commission uh, recommended uh, is 2.437% so the as per the estimated uh, result there is a loss of uh, 14151 crores for the state so even though our uh, state is uh, contributing maximum gdp Uh, maximum taxes to the central government but there is a, a reduction a fall down 
in the I come down in the share of divisible pool of taxes uh, from 2.437 percent to 2.102 percent means uh, nearly a 0.3 percent more than 0.3 percent has come down in the uh, share. For the 15th uh, finance commission has recommended grants of uh, worth of 5800 sorry 5386 crores to the state which of 3024 crores is granted as a sector specific and 2362 crores as state specific grants. Actually the finance commission uh, recommended grants in two areas that is one is uh, uh, 5, 000, uh, so 3024 crores for sector specific and 2362 crores for state specific grants. The government of India did not accept this recommendation and stated that is re this recommendation will be properly considered in implementation of central schemes. Actually, the uh, so the central government has to follow the uh, financial commission recommendations and provides uh, uh, and sanction 5300. 86 crores to the state, but uh, the central government is not followed their recommendations and uh, they said if uh, they implemented the central government schemes properly then only they will accept otherwise uh, they will not accept these recommendations. So, so this is the uh, thing done by the central government. The state's own tax revenue SOTR collections in April 2020 fell by 87.7 percent because uh, uh, due to severe COVID-19 uh, in the month of April, May especially. So, the tax revenue of our state will be uh, dropped nearly and fell down nearly 87.7 percent. When you compare with the collection in April 2019 uh, means 2019. Uh, the COVID-19 pandemic slowed down the economic uh, activity for instant. So, uh, this is a one major reason. So, when you compare with the 2019 and 2020, uh, the state's own tax revenue uh, fell down is 87.7 percent. This trend of revenue decline and recovery were observed in all the major individual taxes that is uh, comprise uh, state. Uh, own tax revenue, value added tax, VAT, state goods and service tax, SGST, stamps and registration fees, motor vehicle taxes and ex excise taxes. So, it means here not only on the means here the own tax uh, revenue and so on all sectors especially uh, in all sectors uh, that is valued in VAT, in GST, stamps and registration fees motor vehicle taxes, excise taxes and all taxes the revenue was uh, completely declined. In total the government has sanctioned 5268 crores in COVID-19 related measures to be spent on the health and medical facilities, 1177 crores for medical facilities, 1500 rupees twice to each of food security card holders near that is 2628 crores, ration support 1103 crores, support to the migrant labor 124 crores, a CM special incentive of to health, municipal and gram panchayati employees 182 crores and support of police department 54 crores. This is the uh, expenditure incurred by the uh, government in various sectors. The actually the government is sanctioned uh, 5268 crores in COVID-19 related measures to be spent for the health and medical facilities and its uh, 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 division is like I will say the statistics now that is uh, for uh, health and medical facilities it is 1177 crores and um, already as we discussed that is 1500 rupees for each. Uh, uh, family is given kind of, uh, uh, twice for uh, giving a food security card holders means uh, white ration card holders for that uh, 2628 crores and the ration support 
for that 1103 crores uh, for the support of migrant lab labor for uh, providing uh, essential commodities and to send uh, those people to their uh, native places own uh, places through with the support of uh, railway department for all those things uh, they spend uh, nearly um, 124 crores and CM special incentives to, to health and municipal and gram panchayat employees that is uh, 182 crores because uh, their, um, um, their salaries, uh, employee salaries are uh, increased and they provide some medical facilities to them, uh, medical kits, PPE kits, uh, all these things. It is uh, given for the uh, municipal and gram panchayat employees. It is uh, 182 crores and support to the uh, the police department uh, for 54 crores. Uh, this is the uh, classification of uh, the sanction amount of 5268 crores in 2019. With the limited revenue collections and the need to focus expenditure on health and welfare of the people, the government took the decision of uh, delaying a part of the salaries. Uh, this is uh, happens because the government spends because the, the getting revenue is very less, it is fall down to nearly 87.7 percent uh, fall down in the uh, revenue, uh, but they, uh, they increase uh, and they spend, they sanction nearly 5,268 crores for this uh, health and uh, uh, other sectors for providing uh, uh, food safety and uh, all these things. So then what happens, so that there is no revenue the expenditure increases. So, finally, there is an impact on the government and it is a uh, decision for delaying a part of the salaries of the public representation, representatives and government employees to create revenue space for handling these uh, COVID-19 crisis. So, at that time, the government is uh, given only 50 percent of uh, salaries, just it is it done in only for uh, uh, two months, uh, two months uh, to re adjust the amount, the revenue to adjust uh, to fill the uh, revenue gap, revenue space. That's a very very important, and uh, to create the revenue space for the handling the COVID nineteen crisis. This impact, impact of that one. While the government increased the expenditure to curb. Uh, COVID-19 also ensued other important programs such as Raith Bandhu, Asra pensions continue to be functions, but there is no uh, disturbance, there is no uh, uh, delay of uh, uh, giving uh, uh, these especially two schemes Raith Bandhu and Asra pensions, it is continued without any kind of interruption. This combined with falling revenue meant that the government had to borrow additional funds to uh, to financial expenditure. So, because there is no interruption for uh, Raithu Bandhu and Asra functions and of course, uh, nearly 5268 crores is sanctioned for uh, um, health and hygiene uh, programs. Uh, so, for that reason, so the, there is a, uh, um, what is called it as simply uh, a force as on the government to borrow additional funds from the to meet the financial expenditure. Here it is interesting to note that the government was able to borrow an additional 1.75 percent of GSDP beyond the usual 3 percent of GSDP. So, uh, in, in these conditions generally uh, there is a permission for to borrow nearly 3 percent of GSDP, but uh, our government has borrowed only additional amount of 1.75 percent of GSDP beyond the this one. It was able to borrow this additional amount of 17,558 crores because the state state meets uh, conditions such as implementing one nation, one ration card, undertaking ease of doing business reforms and urban government governance reforms. This was possible due to the reform mindset of the state. And the state was already a forerunner in these reforms even before COVID-19 pandemic situation. Uh, this is a very, very important. So, our central government is uh, uh, 
given that one nation, one ration card. So, if you want they want to meet this, uh, definitely uh, like, um, we have to take uh, uh, business reforms and urban governance reforms, correct. So, this was possible due to the reform mindset of the state. Already our Telangana state have uh, already, already existing uh, reform mindset for the state. So, definitely the state was already in the forerunner, is, is the, it is a forerunner to implement these reforms even before a COVID-19 pandemic situation, that is the reason. The government's ability to respond effectively to COVID-19 through additional uh, spending reflects the state's strong fiscal position. This in turn is a result of the government's well judged financial management in recent years. One way to understand the state's public finance better is to examine financial data between 2016 and 17 and 2018 and 19 and compare this with equivalent figures from other gen general states in India represented by India. Yes. Clear. So, this is a very important means uh, when you compare with the other states of uh, our India, so when so we can understand that the state's public finance is better to examine the financial data between 2016 and 17 and 2018 and 19. So, these uh, the government's well judged financial management. So, we have a very good foresee and we have good in you know, plan of action and to meet all the unexpected expenditure and how even though there is a uh, there is a drastic fall down in the revenue and large increase uh, in the uh, expenditure the government has a well judged uh, financial management uh, to meet all these crisis and and to survive in a a very good situation. As the economy grows, so SOTR should increase the greater respons responsiveness of tax revenues to GSDP growth, a concept known as tax buoyancy. This is a very important, allows the government to finance expenditure from its own resources without adding to debit. So, maybe you understand means uh, very comments without uh, support of uh, uh, support of uh, um, central government also uh, the our government uh, spending more than nearly 1 lakh crore for this irrigation projects and like mission kakatiya and uh, kaleswam project and provides water facilities uh, for 24 by 7 uh, uninterrupted uh, power to our farmers all these things uh, uh, done by our uh, government without uh, uh, of course there is a there is a support but there is a, a less support from the uh, central government not uh, given full support from the central government our state government uh, to finance expenditure from its own resource that's a, a thing without adding uh, to debit the government is uh, government's relative better management of resources has allowed to it to invest in a plethora of schemes and programs for benefit of citizens. So, when you when you compare there is a statistics recently uh, in Lok Sabha uh, the finance minister Sitaraman uh, announced uh, announced uh, the states or uh, so who are, are taking more uh, Okay, interest more loans from the central government means yeah, in first three uh, the Uttar Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and other states there, but uh, this the, uh, the uh, our Telangana will not is not there in those who are taking more uh, uh, loans from the uh, central government means uh, we can understand the economical uh, uh, means of financial management system, the financial management system adopted by our government. So, government's relatively better management of resources has allowed it to invest in a plethora of schemes and programs for the benefit of citizens. So, this is a very, very important. So, we have, uh, we have good foresee, uh, good plan of action and we have uh, good resources and we, we have a good 
uh, knowledge about uh, utilizing our the own and our own resources in a, a proper way. In 2020-21, the government presented the budget estimated of 1,82,914 crores of expenditure, which was uh, channelized into implementing program like Raitu Bandhu, Asara Pensions, Kakatiya, Lakshmi, building capital assets that yield returns for the state in the years to come and ensuring the efficient functioning of the government. The state has been registering revenue surplus since its formation. So, this that is the reason even uh, our chief minister announced that. So, we are the richest country in the sorry richest state in the country which is the richest state in the country means here uh, the state has been registering revenue surplus since its formation. So, means see observe it here. In 2020 21, the government presented the budget estimating the uh, expenditure is 1,82,914 crore rupees. Even though we are uh, spending various schemes uh, like uh, Raitu Bandhu, Asara Pensions, Kakati, um, Kakati um, Kalyana Lakshmi. So, Kalyana Lakshmi, so like uh, all these things so different uh, uh, schemes were for the welfare of uh, uh, our Telangana people um, still we are registering with the revenue surplus since its formation. A consistent revenue surplus implies that the state is self sufficient to meet its own revenue expenditure. This is a very very important thing here. A consistent revenue surplus implies that the state is self-sufficient to meet its own revenue expenditure. It also means that it is fiscally disciplined to ensure that a capital receipts borrowings and other sources are not being deployed for revenue expenditure. We have control in our expenditure, we have good 4C in our expenditure and we have uh, uh, now so just and we have a self sufficient to meet our own revenue expenditure. This is a, a very important uh, uh, phenomena and things about our, our government on government policies. However, with the gradual administration of COVID-19 vaccine, the economy and thereby the finances are expected to return to uh, normalcy and the state would be able to considerable consolidate its financial position and restores its financial wisdom as exhibited during 2016 to 19. Doing so will ensure that the government has the resources to continue to invest in improving welfare for all while investing the infrastructure required for the future. So, after uh, so uh, nearly all the people of Telangana uh, get vaccinated uh, and then the economy and other financial system are expected to uh, a normal uh, position and still the growth rate is going on and we are uh, maintaining uh, the consistency for the uh, uh, surplus revenue. This is uh, a uh, very important uh, trend. Okay. Now, uh, we are going to shift for the next area that is uh, uh, going about uh, discussing about already I said we are going to discuss about uh, 15 sectors, 15 sectors what are the economical uh, outlook in all these 15 sectors. Now, we are shifting to the third sec, fourth sector that is agriculture and allied sectors. Yeah. So, we are now just uh, we have briefly seen about the public finance sector. Now, we will uh, uh, discuss about the agriculture sector. Just now I discussed uh, uh, about the public uh, finance sector. Now, we are shifting to the next sector that is agriculture and allied sectors. 
So, in the agriculture and allied sectors as you know it that is uh, the agriculture sector is the backbone of uh, rural development in Telangana. Since the, the formation of the statement sorry the formation of state the government of Telangana has been committed to drive in the sector's growth increasing the farmers incomes and improving the farmers welfare. So, uh, actually so we are uh, giving a more importance for the uh, Jai Jivan, Jai Jawan and Jai Kishan uh, correct Jai Kishan. So, means here uh, we are giving more importance for the Jai Kishan means uh, uh, the, the farmer is uh, so government giving uh, more uh, schemes for the welfare of uh, our farmer. So, for that reason so many uh, schemes are implemented that is Raitu Bandhu, uh, Raitu Bhima, Dharani portal all these things in point of uh, uh, agriculture and its allied sectors and we are giving more information more uh, information about the state you know, for, uh, that we are giving more importance especially for the uh, increasing of farmers income and improving farmers that is the first aim first aim of our uh, Telangana state is there is a growth increasing in farmers income and improving farmers that is the first aim of uh, and farmers welfare improving farmers welfare increasing the farmers income this is the first aim of uh, Telangana government. To do this uh, the government is uh, promoting the agriculture sector which includes crops, horticulture, livestock and fisheries through various policy initiatives. For example, improving uh, irrigation infrastructure through flagships initiative such as the Kaleswaram project and Mission Kakatiya, supplying free 24 by 7 power to farmers, providing investment sup, uh, support to farmers under Raitu Bandhu. Uh, and enabling access to inputs markets markets and credit and providing the life insurance under right bima so so here just now i said uh, uh, the government is giving more importance for the increasing of uh, farmers income and farmers this of very welfare so just improving farmers welfare and increasing farmers income so, for to do this the government is uh, promoting agriculture sector and its allied sectors that is uh, crops, horticulture, livestock and fisheries through various uh, policy initiative that is already we discussed a number of times uh, that is uh, so given the government is given a uh, very important of course major importance for the irrigation infrastructure through different flagships that is uh, initiative that is Kaleswaram project. Uh, lift irrigation project as you know that and uh, mission Kakatiya and supplying free 24 by 7 power to the farmers and to provide uh, uh, investment support, investment support to the farmers uh, uh, under Raitu Bandhu. So, this is a mostly uh, this is a model for all the other states in, uh, in, the, in, our, in the country. So, here this is the first state which provides the investment support to the farmers under the name of uh, Raitu Bandhu and enabling uh, access to inputs, markets and credits. So, and providing life insurance under Raitu Bhima. So, uh, giving our, uh, life insurance to under Raitu Bhima. So, given means here given more like by the Raitu Bhima and Raitu Bandhu the government is expecting. So, there is a uh, there is a, a increase in the uh, farmers income and there is increasing in the farmers of course, uh, farmers welfare. So, the improve in the farmers welfare increase in the farmers income. So, this is a most most important thing here. So, here the very important thing say once again uh, to give the more importance uh, means here we can uh, uh, highlight those things those are the, the Kaleswaram project, uh, Mission Kakatiya and the supplying free power 24 by 7 
uh, farm power to farmers providing investment uh, support to the farmers under raitu bandhu enabling access to inputs markets and credit and providing life insurance under raitu bima these are the different initiatives so taken by the our government to improve the income and to to increase the income of farmers and to improve the welfare of the farmers so we will meet uh, with the uh, other um, things of uh, this uh, outline uh, some socio economic outline of telangana in the next sessions thank you